Hello everyone and welcome to this Playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to install the Playwright with JavaScript using the different ways. So let's begin. Playwright supports the multiple languages and we need to ensure that if we are on the website of the Playwright, we have to check that Node.js is selected here. And once the Node.js is selected, go to the documents here and here just go to install the Playwright here. And you will find the different commands, npm command, yarn command, and pnpm commands here. Now, just go to the desktop here, create a new folder, and I'm naming it as playwright install. Okay. And before that, we have some prerequisites. So, prerequisites are basically you need a node. So this is a node.js.org website from here you can download the node here on this website you will find the node for the windows mac so you need to download and install as per your operating system and secondly you need an editor for these tutorial series i will be using a video studio code here so simply go to code.videostudio.com download and again here you have a multiple options for example if you want to solve for windows 8 10 and 11 if you want to install for the Linux or the Mac, so uh, you can install as per your operating system again. So once you have these things, you need to verify that node is working fine or not. For that, open the command prompt here. And in command prompt, what you need to do is that you need to type node-v. So if node is installed and configured properly, you will see the node version here. And similarly, you need to check for and pm dash v so it should display the node and pm version and after this simply now go to the desktop here and what we need to do is that we need to open the visual studio code and inside this we need to open the folder which we created right now so the folder is basically playwright install click on this one and this is an empty folder right now so simply what we need to do is that go to the terminal here click on new terminal and on the terminal what we need to do is that simply going with the npm so i'm copying this command from here go to visual studio code here and paste this here so as soon as you paste this it will ask for the different options so when you are going with the node implementation you can go with the TypeScript or the JavaScript. So in this tutorial series, we will be using JavaScript. So I'm selecting the JavaScript from here and then where to put your end-to-end -end test. So this is the name of the folder. I'm going with this default one. You can change this one as well. And similarly, if you want to add a GitHub action flows, you can go with the option here. You need to provide true or false right now. By default is false. We will see the letter tutorials that how we can go with the github action workflow here and then finally uh, it's asking for install playwright browsers okay and here again you have option for true and false i'm going with the true and it will start you know installing the all these things and playwright will be installed successfully so all browsers and all things will be done and here you will see that you have numerous score modules you have a test folder you have a test examples here and you have package.json here you have different configurations about this particular package so this is the first way to download and install the playwright into the visual studio code now let's see the second uh, way to download and install the playwright simply what we will do is that we'll go to the desktop here create a new folder here and i'm naming it as playwright vs code so th in this second method what we will do is that we will be installing the playwright from the visual studio code itself so go to Visual Studio code here go to file again open the folder and now open this recently created folder and this is again a, a empty folder here now you need to go to this extension sections here and here you need to search for playwright and this is a playwright test for vs code click on this one this one is already installed for me so that's why saying there's uninstall you can install from here once it will be installed 
what you need to do is that go to this go option uh, sorry on the view option go to command palette and here type install playwright so click on this one and here again it's asking for the different browser use javascript uh, if you want to add the github action flows i'm skipping this one i'm skipping this one and simply clicking ok so it will automatically open the terminal and start you know installing the playwright based on our specification so if i go to here on the explorer you will see that we have all these options again here in the visual studio code now let's see the third method here and simply on the browser what you need to do is that you need to go here and go to npmjs.com and here you need to search for playwright and this is a playwright here click on this one and here again you will find the same commands here but here you will find the different things here if you want to create a new project with the installation you can use this command if you want to uh, you know install the latest version use this command if you want to install the things manually so you can use this commands and these commands so simply uh, again what i'll do is that i'll go here create a new folder from here and playwright npm so this folder and here simply what i'll do is that i will go here and open the folder here playwright npm this is an empty folder and again go to the terminal here and here what we need to do is that go to the browser here and now let me go with this command directly and go here and paste it here and see what happens again it's asking for uh you know typescript or javascript javascript test false true and now it will install the playwright in our this folder and we will see all these folders like test then we have test examples node and scrum modules and we see this playwright here under the bin we will see this playwright core files here and inside this package.json we have a basic information about this package like name of the project version description then we have a dependencies and playwright test is a dependency which is added here so we will talk about these different folders in our upcoming session we will talk about how we can run the test provided uh, by the playwright itself so this is a test if i let me open this one so you see this is a test written here and we will see that how we can run this one on the different browsers thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial